Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. I know it's late. You probably all are tucked in your bed all nice and warm, ready to go to sleep. But I figured this was a good time to record because nobody's going to call me and interrupt my video and make me uh, lose sound. So anyway, this is my shirt for today. Santa, define good. I just thought it was cute. I got that a couple years ago. But anyway, I'm here to finish the haul that I uh, did the other day and to uh, do the rest of the haul that I was going to do. And then I have one more haul. I went to Dollar Tree to get some tissue paper to wrap with. And I came home with a bag full of stuff. Surprise, surprise. All right, well, you guys, I'm going to start out with some uh, friend mail that I got. just want to go through this quick before I start with the uh, haul. I got a Christmas card from Charlotte. Charlotte N. Uh, she has her address here, but I don't know her full name. She sent me this card and she wrote, uh, hope your holidays are wonderful. I am a subscriber. Have a package to send to you when I get to the post office. Thank you very much, Charlotte. I appreciate that. And the next card I got was from Mary Lothamer from uh, New Haven, Indiana. And she sent me another red truck card home for the holidays and she said merry christmas to you and family god bless your mom tell caroline hi mary and she included that sticker which is really cool speaking of stickers i went to the post office today to mail some more um christmas cards and I put some puffy stickers. One's like this one. Not puffy puffy, but one's like this one. On the outside of the envelopes. And apparently the uh, post lady was uh, sticking to the rules. Because she charged me 15 cents per card extra. Because they had puffy stickers on the outside. I wanted to say, let me peel them off. But... Uh, I was like, what the heck? It's Christmas, 15 cents. But whatever. So be careful when you're putting stickers on the outside of envelopes. Don't put puffy stickers on there because they can't go through the machine. Now this sticker is puffier than the ones I had. Unfortunately, I should have just stuck them through the slot and nothing would have been said. But I was mailing out a couple of the winners from my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. And uh, I had the stack of cards and she was like, oh, do you want me to take these? And I was like, sure. And then, of course, the whole puffy sticker, puffy sticker incident. I'm like, all right, well, I won't do that again. Anyway, just a day in the life of Kathy Donovan. Uh, my next card is from Claudette Wilkes from Hartsville, South Carolina. And she sent me this cute, cute little penguin. It says, warm wishes. And she said, hi, Kathy, I like your hauls. Be safe, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. To you as well, Claudette, thank you very much. I got so many cards, there's no way I can hang them all. Um, so I do have them in a little, um, you know, that uh, red and black checked uh, little cloth container. They're right over there by the tree. Um, I got a card from Julie Fitzpatrick, and she sent me this card. Look at the, I don't know if you guys can see that, the way it glitters on there. It's beautiful. It says, blessings on your Christmas season. Dear Kathy, thank you for, all, for your kindness. I really appreciate all that you do. Wishing you a very happy holidays. Love, Julie. Thank you, Julie. Love you, too. And um, I'm not mailing out any more cards. So if you didn't get a card from me yet, 
I'm sorry. I did the best I could. I did the best I could. And this card is from um, Mary Lee uh, Russell, one of my oldest subscribers that I know of. Mary Lee and I um, met up with each other when I went to Florida a couple of years ago. And uh, we've remained friends since. And she said, uh, hugs from Mary Leah. Maybe, oh, keeps calling her Mary Leah. It's Mary Lee. And she said, maybe we'll get to meet up in 2021. Hopefully, Mary Lee. Hopefully. And this is a prayer for your Christmas. A prayer your Christmas shines so bright with love and smiles and pure delight. That you'll find joy in all God's best to make this year your happiest. Thank you, Mary Lee. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and then I got two envelopes from Nancy Nichols. They came in the mail today. And she sent her 3 by 5 cards. And hers just happened to have red trucks on them. So, ha, ha, ha. Those, Nancy, your name is going, your two cards are going into the next drawings. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for uh, sending me all those masks that you made for me um, through the year, keeping me safe. I appreciate it. Uh, this is from Teresa Valverde of Whiting, New Jersey. And she sent this pretty card. And Teresa also sent a card with her name, which is slightly bigger than a 3x5 card. But I will cut it down so that it fits. I'll just cut her name and put it in the drawing. All the cards got to be the same size to be fair and square. And this says, Merry Christmas. Uh, may you enjoy blessings, joy, and peace this Christmas. And she wrote, I enjoy your videos very much. They are very dear to me. I have a friend that has been given to me by the Lord Jesus. God is always giving me blessings. God is using you. May God bless you, Kathy, and dear sweet Caroline. Jesus is the reason for the season. Yes, he is. Lots of love, Teresa. Thank you, Teresa. And then I got a card from Alice uh, Custis. Hustis, sorry for the pronunciation. I'm sure it's not the right pronunciation. But she sent me Santa Claus. Ah! And she put a little note in here that I'm not going to read um, because it's personal. Um, but she wrote, uh, there are many gifts under the tree, uh, under the Christmas tree, but the best one is the gift of your friendship. Thank you for being a friend. Well, thank you, Alice. Thank you for being my friend as well. And uh, I got what you enclosed in here. Thank you very much. And uh, I read your note earlier. And uh, I appreciate it. It's good to to know what's going on. I hope, uh, I hope everyone's well. Uh, and then I got this card from Chris McCollum. Merry Christmas from New Mexico. Whoa which I love because I can use this as a postcard. The desert there, very cool. And what fell out of here? Chris sent a three by five card for the drawing. And she sent me a little note. Happy holidays to you and Caroline. Continued success with your channel. I love it. Your loyal subscriber, Chris. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. I appreciate all these cards. And from Phyllis Watkins, she sent me this card. And she wrote, uh, Enjoy your holidays. Happy holidays. Hope this finds everyone well. Stay safe, Phyllis. And then she wrote a little note uh, that she'll be sending a Christmas box soon, which she probably, I already probably already got. That's probably the two great boxes that I just got from her. I hope, I hope, uh, 
I hope that was them. I had one to send before Halloween, but knew you were on vacation, so I didn't send it. So I will send that one later on next year. Jeez, Phyllis, you are so super generous. Thank you so much. Um, by the way, uh, Sarah loved her pajama pants, and Andrew was happy to have his socks. He was like, ooh, I needed socks. So everybody opened their packages except for Jordan and Madeline because their family is in quarantine because their mom, Christy's mom, their grandma, uh, was going to have a procedure and she tested positive for COVID and she was at their house that day. So they are under quarantine for 14 days, which isn't much fun right before Christmas for the kids. But, um, I got your card, Phyllis. Thank you. That's going in the drawing. And then this card is from, uh, Dina Chavez. Dina sent this pretty card. I like, uh, the truck and the tree are like, um, you know, you could take them off and do something else with them. But I love the card. Very pretty. And it says, best wishes for a beautiful Christmas season. Love, hugs, and prayers for you and yours. Merry Christmas. Love, Dina. Thank you, Dina. Thank you very much. Dina won one of my giveaways. Not this time, I don't think. I don't remember. I sent out four of the winners so far. And I have two more going out tomorrow. But there's four people I haven't heard from yet. So if you haven't watched my 10,000 subscriber giveaway, you better watch it because you may be a winner. If I don't hear from them by uh, Christmas Day, um, I'm going to redraw those prizes. This card is from Barbara Berry, and she made this card. It's beautiful. Look at that. I love the design on this. Look at the deer. Very nice. And then inside she wrote me a note. Love your love your YouTube. You have been have been enjoying it this year especially. Have a wonderful Christmas and a happy and safe new year. May God bless you and your family, Barbara. Thank you, Barbara, and I love that you made your card. It's so nice. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, and Barbara also sent me a card for the giveaway. If you will send me anything, make sure you send a card. And then I have two packages. I got something um, from my friend Robin Riley, because um, I got this, a little gift was chosen from you for you, and it's from a company called The Wooden Spoon, and it's in Plano, Plano, Texas. Um, and it is like a Scandinavian type store. And she knew of my interest in gnomes. So she ordered something from this store. This is the, the company. If you're interested in it, that's the front of the flyer. And there's the back. There's their information if you're interested in going there or ordering from there. It's called the Wooden Spoon, www.woodenspoonplano.com. And what she sent me was this beautiful trivet. Look at that. I love it. It's got the cork on the back and it's very heavy duty. You can hang it or you can use it as a trivet. Either way, I'm going to either hang it or use it. I love it. Thank you so, so much, Robin. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Put it back in the package here so it don't get messed up. Thank you very much, Robin. I appreciate it. And the last package is, oh, sorry. Sorry, Sharon, didn't mean to show your address. Was this package. Now, she wrote fragile on it, okay? And it was like this in my mailbox. I was like, well, geez, I hope it wasn't anything too fragile. 
So I opened it up to make sure it wasn't messed up. And what I found was a card, of course. And it's the Santa card. And it says, hope you have a wonderful Christmas and happy new year, Sharon, to Kathy and family. Thank you so much, Sharon. And she sent me, I didn't open this out of the package because I wanted to open it with you guys. She sent me some jewelry and uh, let me figure out how to open this package. I'll just rip it. I'll just rip it. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's paparazzi, paparazzi jewelry. And it's an earring and necklace. What is that in the bottom? Oh, I don't know. But isn't that beautiful? I love the earrings. They're just, just my style. They hang, but they're not too dangly. And then it's got this beautiful chain on it. I love it. Thank you so much. This will be great when I go back to work. Thank you so much, Sharon. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Very nice. And I am just going to put that, I'm not going to even attempt to put that back in the package because I tore it up. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate it. Everybody, thank you for the cards. And now that I spent 16 minutes opening friend mail, let's get to the Dollar Tree haul. All right, this beginning stuff is the stuff that I was trying to show you in the other haul. Um, but I got cut off. So anyway, I was trying to show you guys these emergency uh, flashlights. Now, here's how it works. See this little button right here? You press this button. I think you push it up. No, you push it down and it makes this thing pop out. Okay. And what you do is you squeeze it to power it. And then turn on the flashlight. How cool is that, right? You keep that in your car, you break down, you don't have to worry about the batteries dying or how, whatever you wanna do with it. And then, okay, you turn it off, you push the thing back in, push this little button back up and it locks it back in place. It has a little handle thing so you can, you know, Put it, around, put it on your belt or hang it, I don't know, put it around your wrist. But I thought it was really cool. I was like, oh, wow, that's really... So you just pop that button down and charge it. Press it as many times as you want. And then there's your flashlight. How cool is that, right? So I picked up one for myself. And, well, the purple one is for me. And the other one is for um, my son-in-law for his stocking. So one is for me. I'll put over here. This is Christmas. Some of this stuff is Christmas presents. So I'm trying to get my final Christmas stuff done. So I also found uh, these headlamps. These have been around. I never really thought about getting them because I thought they were kind of corny looking. And I was like, I'll never wear that. But as I was doing some Christmas shopping, I thought Jordan and Madeline would love these. They're really outdoorsy. They live out in the country. They would love to run around with these on their heads at night. So I got one for Madeline and one for Jordan. The blue one, there's this blue one. There's blue, black, green, red. I think those were the colors that they had. I picked these two colors for them. So that's for them. And then I'm all about the uh, lights, apparently. Um, I found, again, these flashlight key rings. These things are awesome. I have one on my keychain now, and uh, I got a spare for me, and I got one for my stepdaughter, Christy, and her husband. So those are going in their stockings. Um, if you've never seen these, I don't know if I can open this. They, they're very bright, and they have the little carboner 
on there and they just clip on your um, keychain. I don't know that I can open this because I didn't bring my scissors because I didn't think I needed them. Can I open this? Yeah, there we go. There we go. So, garbage, where's garbage over there? This is what it looks like. You just hang it on your keychain or your, your belt loop or whatever. Pull the little tab and you press the button on the end and very bright. Sorry, I didn't mean to blind you. Bright, bright, bright. Caroline likes to play with it. That's why I had to buy a new one because she's always turning it on. And I'm like, don't turn grandma's flashlight on. And then sometimes I just hit it by accident and it goes on. But it's, you know, got this little rubber button on the bottom that you press to turn it on and off. But very good to have on your keychain. Got one for myself and for Christy and Phil. Uh, another light. I purchased another one of these night lights. These, um, uh, what do you call them? Automatic night light sensor. Light sensing night lights. I have these in a couple rooms and they really work good. So I picked up another one to put uh, in another room. Really uh, recommend these very much. So that's going over here. I'm so confused. I don't know what I'm doing. I got a bag for food. I got a bag for Christmas. And then I'm like, well, what do I do with the rest of it? All right, I'll just put it over here. Okay. Then I, I've been looking for these in Dollar Tree for the longest time, and they didn't have them, but they're back. They're the wall chargers for your phones. You just plug your USB uh, cord in there. And you can charge your phone. I picked one up in black and one in white. Just to have as spares. Um, they are by E-Circuit. And they're a USB wall tap. Uh, compatible with USB powered devices. So any kind of phone can use this. Because all phones uh, charge with a USB uh, jack on the end. So they have them in Dollar Tree now. They don't carry them all the time. My sister asked me before she went to Florida last year to look for them. And uh, I couldn't find them. Then, boop, there they are. Um, I also picked up these again. These are uh, like command strips, but they're wood look. I had gotten these before and Madeline decided that that was something she wanted to buy when she went shopping in my basement. So I said, go ahead, take it. Told them they could have anything they wanted. You should have seen the stuff they got. <laughs> Crazy. I also picked up some single use super glue. Um, I got these because um, if you guys buy super glue, I don't know, for some reason, mine tend to either dry out real quick or the cap gets glued to the thing and I can't get it open. So I figured a single use one would be right up my alley. A little dab will do ya. Uh, works best on clean, non-porous surfaces, which is metal, rubber, and plastic. And this is the original super glue. And you get four tubes. So got that just to have on hand. This I was very excited to find. I found the um, apron by Rosano Pansino with the hearts on it. I actually found two of these. I gave one to my niece for her birthday because she is a big baker. So I got her that. And I also got her the poop emoji cut it, cutter. I don't know why anybody would want to make things in the shape of a poop emoji. But I just bought it because it's a nice little gift set by the same girl and um yeah apparently she has like a youtube channel i don't know her i don't watch her but uh she's very very popular from what i understand she's like one of the biggest bakers on youtube i don't know but i thought this was a cute apron and this little matching thing goes with it and i said you know what, maybe that'll make a nice gift for somebody someday. And it did for my niece. So if I know somebody else 
that's baked, so I'll give that to them as well. So, got that. They went quick. Somebody came through my line, and I was like, oh my god, on my break, I gotta go over there and find those aprons. And lo and behold, I did. So, I grabbed two. I'm not greedy. Like, I've seen other YouTube haulers. They grabbed, like, five of them or six of them. I'm like, really? Leave some for somebody else, you know? Don't be greedy. All right, so I'm going to show you some food. I found these Nabisco uh, Minion cookies. They're like a graham cookie. I picked up two boxes. These were right at the register because I was checking out, and I was like, oh, Minion cookies. And they're the kind of like graham cookies that Caroline likes, uh, most kids like. Um, let's see how many ounces is it. It's 10 ounces. And it says it's a good source of calcium. I don't know that I would rely on cookies to get my calcium in my diet, but I don't know if your kid won't drink milk, which I don't understand kids that don't drink milk because I'm, I'm a milk fiend. Anyway, I got these. It's got all the guys on there. And uh, these are good until February 10th of 21. So... They have a good long shelf life if you get them. Uh, I also found a new product at the Dollar Tree, which I was kind of shocked to find. It's this Fairlife lactose-free milk. Um, it's with honey and oats. Um, it's a nutrition shake is what it says. It's lactose-free and it's eight ounces. My store had them in the chocolate and the strawberry. I only got the chocolate the first time because I didn't realize it was a strawberry one. Second time I went back, I got a strawberry and a chocolate. Um, we just found out Evelyn has to drink lactose-free milk. So I thought, I don't know, maybe she might like chocolate or strawberry. I drank one of them the other day. Um, it was good, but... It was only eight ounces, so it didn't really, you know, fill me up. What does it say on it? It's 170 calories. How many grams of protein do you get in it? What does it say? 15. 15 grams of protein. But you know what? Those P3 things that they sell at Dollar Tree with the meat and the cheese and the nuts, that's also about 15 grams. So I'd rather eat that than drink this. Or I could drink this while I'm eating that. I don't know. Uh, but my Dollar Tree has those P3 uh, little snack things. And uh, I've been looking in all the stores. And they're always... Uh, I was in Target today. They were $1.59. I, <clears throat> I think they're $1.50 in Walmart. Um, but they're more than a dollar. So if you see them in your Dollar Tree, grab them. A dollar's a deal. Sorry, I could feel a cough coming on. Um, I bought the Harvest Road peanut butter filled pretzels in this little bag. It's five ounces, uh, non-GMO verified. And I bought one for me and I gave one to my mom already. So I got that. That one's for me. And I forgot when I gave her all her stuff the other day, I bought her these Pepperidge Farm Chessman Minis. Pepperidge Farm brand name. Little bag of cookies. Just enough for her for a couple of, maybe, yeah, she'd probably get a couple of servings out of this. Me, I'd eat the whole bag with a nice glass of milk. But it's a 2.25 ounce package and it's good till January 9th of 2021. So she better eat those quick. I'll have to put that in her bag that I have going to her tomorrow. Tomorrow I made goodie bags, uh, little um, those little treat bags that the Dollar Tree sells. I bought like 60 of them and I filled them up with candy to give out to the residents and staff at the assisted living facility. And I'm dropping those off tomorrow. So I'll, I got a little uh, bag full of stuff for mom too, extra. So I will give her that too. So I found these Elf Grams. Can't even see it. Now, it's, there's six packs in here. 
and they are elf Keebler elf grams. You get six packages in here for a dollar. They are one ounce packages, so that's a good deal because they're kid size packages, you know? The kids will just eat this and be done, you know, not keep sticking their paw in the box and so anyway, six pack of Keebler brand name cookies for a dollar. That's a good deal, six pack. <clears throat> Some of the things they sell are like four packs, and I'm like, eh, I don't know about four packs. Four packs is not a deal to me. I mean, it could be, depending on what it is, but <clears throat> I usually only buy them when they're six or more. I also got my mom this king-size package of eight cookies of the Chips Ahoy Chunky. Got one for her and one for me. If you've been watching me, <clears throat> you all know I'm a, I'm a cookie monster. I just love cookies, especially cookies with chocolate. And I also got the regular Chips Ahoy. You get 10 of these. You get eight in the other ones. What well, one for mom, one for me. <clears throat> a couple more food items. This is just the Green Giant sliced carrots. Caroline and Evie both love carrots. So I, uh, last time Caroline was here for dinner, I used my last can of carrots. So I said, let me pick up another can of carrots. So if they're here for dinner again, I got carrots. And then I picked up this, uh, Hormel smoked ham. Um, I hadn't seen this in Dollar Tree before. I thought, you know what, this might be good to make like a ham salad with, you know, like you could put it on um, celery, you know, to make like a little appetizer with it. Put some um, relish and mayonnaise in the ham and then put it on a celery stick. That sounded good to me. I don't know. What do you guys think? So I picked up two cans. Two cans, Sam. Yep, that's me. That is the end of my food. Um, a little bit of household stuff here. I found the Dynamo, Dynamo um, color changing, color capture sheets. Um, I've been using these when I wash anything that's new, especially like um, anything that's dark blue or black or red. That Those kinds of colors tend to bleed and get on your clothes. And <clears throat> so... Um, they work really good. There's 10 pads and you just put your, um, laundry in and then throw this on top. And when you pull it out, it's red or black or blue or whatever color. So <clears throat> I got two boxes of those. I don't see those all the time. So I grabbed two. Uh, I picked up, uh, two rolls of packing tape because I'm sending out packages and I couldn't find my packing tape. So I bought that 3M uh, tape on the red dispenser that they had at the front of the store. They had that big 3M display. I don't like it. The, the tape doesn't, you have to like really fight with it for the tape to roll. I don't know. Either I'm doing it wrong or it sucks. I don't know. But I'm not going to buy it again. I like this. Just pull it as long as you want. I just, I like this better. This, this tape here, I like it better. And I'm thinking about buying a uh, packing tape gun because I'm doing so many giveaways and mailing out packages and stuff. And I thought, why well, I, I should invest in a packing tape gun. Why not? They're, I don't think they're that expensive. They're maybe 10, 15 bucks. So anyway, thoughts. Deep thoughts of Kathy Donovan. Um, I also, here's another electronic thing. I picked up this three plug wall plug because I have, this house doesn't have a lot of plugs in it. It's an older house. It was built in 1950, I think. Um, and so there's not that many plugs in the house. So what I need to do is make use of the plugs that I have and I thought this would help with that situation. I have another one over there where my tree is plugged in. Um, 
that one has that one is um i think i got it from amazon and it's got uh usb plugs in it too but this is all i need i just need to plug in lamps and lights and those kind of things and i thought yeah i'll give it a shot turns one grounded outlet into three indoor use only so i grab that um, this was new to me. I was in the store and I was like going down the aisle and these were hanging from a clip strip. These are by Sure Sense and they're little um, like deodorizers, air fresheners. This one's fresh linen. This one's Hawaiian, Hawaiian breeze or whatever. I picked up the blue one and I was going to just get the blue one and I said, you know what? I should get both just so I can show everybody. And it can't smell that bad. I'm not a real florally type smell. The flowers I like are lilacs. And I don't know. I, I'm not... Too much flower gets makes me sick. So I... Anyway, I thought Hawaiian flowers might be nice. But what they do is they, they stand flat. They have a little flat bottom. And they just stand up. And you peel that... Um, see that silver thing in the back? You peel that off and then you just got your little liquid. I thought it was, um, a lot prettier than those other cone shaped things. And it's smaller, so it wouldn't be as noticeable. Anyway, that's my theory. It says scent is gradually released and you can place the product in any area. So these are out there. I found them on a clip strip at the end of the toy aisle. That's what I'm saying. When you're looking for something at the Dollar Tree that I show you or you've seen it another, um, on another channel, you got to look everywhere because every store doesn't put it in the same place, especially if they put it on a clip strip. If they put it on a clip strip, it could be at the end of toys. It could be in the glasswares. It could be over in plastics. It could be in the party aisle. They just put it somewhere and think you're going to buy it. Um, I picked up the these wall anchors and screws. You get 22 screws and 22 anchors of different sizes. So that was new to my store. And I said, you know what? This is good to have on hand. I, I probably have some of these somewhere in the basement, but I said I can just put this little container in my toolbox and then I have it and I know where it is right off the top of my head. And it's in the little plastic container and it's got a snap close closure. You just cut this off or whatever. Leave it on. It doesn't matter. But got that. 22 screws for a buck. I thought that was good to have. Um, I picked up another one of these frames. I think this frame is bigger than the other ones that I got before. I love this metal design with the, you know, little clip here. And it's a stand-up frame. It's got the wood frame. Very rustic, I thought. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get this. The, all the other ones had like a piece of paper on it. And I just said, I don't need that piece of paper. Just give me that one. So I got this. This looks like a, hmm, maybe four by six. Not three by, not, not five by seven. Definitely not. I would say four by six. If I had a guess. If I had a guess. Um, I picked up some sponge paintbrushes. This is a six pack of the, like, smaller head paintbrushes. You get six of them. They're all the same size. That was new to my store at this time. And then I also picked up the five pack of the wider spr sprunge, sprunge brushes. Sponge brushes. Say that three times fast. Go ahead. I dare you to. Sponge brushes. See, told you, couldn't do it, couldn't do it. So I grabbed those for when I need them. 
I bought this washi tape and I thought it was new, but then I was putting the washi tape away that Phyllis sent me and I was like, oh, there's that new washi, new washi tape that I bought. But I will just add it to my washi tape collection and it was unicorns. So I said, you know, my girls love unicorns. All little girls love unicorns, I think. So I got that. Put that in my pipe and smoke it. Um, and then I found this one, which I know is new to me. That one right there with the flowers and the leaves. I thought that was really pretty. I know I don't have this one. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I'm doing a terrible job showing this to you. It's because I'm trying to do it with one hand. There we go. Can you see that? I'm not turning it too fast, am I? Very nice. I like it. So that is also going to my washi collection. What else have I got here? Um, That's the end of housewares. I found the mossy oak socks in the gray. And I got these for my son-in-law for Christmas. Thought he would like these. They're cushion work socks, and like I told you before, I've seen these uh, sold in Boscovs, so it's not like they're they're name they are name brand and they're not cheap. So I got those for him. I he's a hunter. His uh, my stepdaughter told me that um, he got three deer the other day, opening day of deer season. So she asked me if I wanted some venison. So I thought these would be cool to put in his stocking. Hand warmers when he's out there hunting. It's a two pack of hand warmers, obviously, because you have two hands. And then there are toe warmers by Hot Hands. These are brand name. I just got him one of each to throw in his stocking. I say stocking, I don't, I didn't use stockings for anybody. I used gift bags and I loaded the gift bags up and then just threw tissue paper in. All right, now we're on to health and beauty aids. I got the eight pack of tissues. I always look for the eight pack. I thought these colors were pretty. I like this one that says, take a breath. I love blue, so I got those. I'm noticing here that the Christmas present bag is not getting very full and the stuff I got for myself is like all over the couch. So I think I miscalculated on that. I probably should have left the Christmas stuff on the table and put the other stuff in the bag. All right, anyway, I picked up a can of Barbasol for my son, put in his stocking. I'm gonna keep saying stocking because that's what I consider it, a stocking. This is a five ounce bottle can of uh shaving cream he does not like the gel kind that turns into a foam he likes the regular foam i know this is smaller than the ones they sell in the uh, drugstore or at walmart but you know i was there why why should i make a special trip for shaving cream i picked him up no i didn't i picked him up the razors in the last one these are RM Oral Charcoal Flossers, and you get 50 in a pack. So I thought I would try those. I'm always using these flossing things. Uh, it says detox your gums, dislodge and remove food, removes plaque, and reduces tooth decay. And it's activated charcoal floss. So very good. Very good. Can't wait to try that. Uh, this goes in the Christmas. In the empty Christmas bag. Oh, I did forget to show you this. Um, I found these uh, coffee pens. See, it says coffee, coffee. It's a three-pack of pens, fashion pens. And I'm going to put that with that coffee notebook in the coffee basket that I'm making for a friend for Christmas. So that will make a nice little gift. It matches that um, notebook perfectly because it's brown and blue and the colors in this are brown and blue. One of them's got coffee beans. One of them says coffee, coffee, coffee. 
and one's got coffee cups on it. You can see that. So that's Christmas present. Uh, back to health and beauty. Um, remember I showed you guys that Dessange, uh, shampoo and conditioner and the thing in the jar. I looked it up on Amazon. They go for $9. The, um, shampoo and conditioner are sold as a set on Amazon. No, these, the thing I'm about to show you is $9. Excuse me. The shampoo and conditioner sell for $14.99 on Amazon. And so does that little jar of conditioner. $14.99. I got it for a dollar. I checked the sizes and everything. Same exact size. $14.99 on Amazon. Cost me $2 for the shampoo and conditioner. Score! These, I just looked up uh, before I came on, are $9. This is the SGX NYC products. This one is under control, and it's finishing spray, medium hold, resist humidity, gosh, this is hard to read, controls, frizz, it's like, it's written on this wavy thing, so you see why I can't, and the lighting isn't the best in here. Anyway, it's finishing spray, which is Another word for hairspray, I think. It's a... How many ounces are you? Eight and a half ounce. Eight and a half ounce. I found this one. There were four of them. I only bought three of them because the other one I was like, I'll never use that. This is called the Bodyguard. The blue one. This purple one is the under control. The blue one is called the Bodyguard. It's protective texture spray. 24-hour um, humidity shield, body and shine, light hold. So this is light hold. This is medium hold. And then I got the So Whipped Whipped Mousse. Fizz for frizz free. Say that again. There's another one. Frizz free. Frizz free curls, weightless hold, long lasting style. And I heard um, one of my coworkers said that she got these and that it wor they worked really well. Didn't leave your hair sticky. So wow, right? Wow, nine dollars. Wow, nine dollars a piece, and I paid a dollar, a dollar for them. I was so excited to find them because I saw all these other haulers hauling them and I was like, what? Give me that. I picked up two packs of the Fisher Price Fragrance Free Baby Wipes. You get 72 wipes in there. That's quite the uh, deal. 72 wipes. A lot of times you only get like 40, 45, 50 maybe. I picked up two packs because I got little babies and it's always good to have wipes case mama forgets to bring them. I also picked up these suave hand cleaning wipes. Now these aren't disinfecting, I don't believe. For refreshing on the go cleaning without drying out hands. No, so I'm guessing without drying hands. Without drying out hands means there's no alcohol in them. Um, I got these for the car just because with grandkids... You're always needing a wet wipe. You get 48 in this, and Swamp is a brand name, so I was like, yeah, baby, I'll take it. Which I could have used the other day, but I did have some wipes in my car. I picked up Caroline from school the other day, and uh, I gave her a little treat. She loves Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. So I had the little uh, Reese's Christmas trees. Not the big Reese's Christmas trees, but the little ones. You know, a couple bites. So every time I give her something, I give her two. And she's like, one's for you, Grandma. So I, I brought two out. And I said, here's one for you. And I, Grandma's got one, too. I said, do you want me to open it for you so you can eat it before you get home? Yes. So I'm driving along. She's in the back seat. Doo -doo -doo. I stop to get her out of the car. Both hands 
covered in chocolate. She's still holding part of the candy. Chocolate all over her face. Her boots are off. Her socks are off. She's sitting there barefoot. I'm like, what are you doing? Good God. The girl hates shoes and socks. Hates it. Hates, hates, hates. The minute she walks in the door, off comes the shoes and socks, boots and socks, whatever. She doesn't like socks on her feet. Anyway, that's my story. And I was like, good God. Thank God I got wipes in the car. I had to wipe her hands all down. Took me like three wipes to get it all out from between her fingers and then wipe her face down. And then I had a carrier in the house because I was not about to sit there. And, you know, it was cold out. It was The wind was blowing. It was like 25 degrees out. And I'm like, I am not standing here putting your shoes and socks on. So I picked her up, scooped her up, and ran up into the house with her. And I was like, Psh, there she is. No shoes and socks. Went back out to the car, got the shoes and socks. That's my girl. You gotta love her. Anyway, I found this new L'Oreal Paris. Ooh, let's see if you can read that. There we go. Called Ever Pure. It's deep moisture, hydration, hair sheet mask, steam treatment, five minute hair spa for dry hair. And it's a hair mask. So apparently you like put this thing on your hair like a mask and you wait, I don't know, what's it say? Five minutes or something in the thing and then you take it off and you got brand new hair. I don't know if you guys can read that because of the way the... I'm trying to find that. This one's probably better to read. But I picked up two. You know... Uh, I'll give it a try, and if I like it, I'll, uh, you know, use it again. If not, I'll give it away. I also finally found um, the, no, that not finally. This is not what I'm talking about. This is the charcoal infused shower poof. I don't know. Can anybody explain to me what the charcoal phenomenon is? The charcoal picks, the charcoal toothbrush, the charcoal uh, toothpaste, charcoal bath poofs. What What is it that charcoal is supposed to do for you? Can somebody tell me that in the comments? But anyway, I got it because I could use a new poof. And then I found some of the new makeup. I found the Wet n Wild Pressed Powder. And this is in medium. Looks like that. Medium. And then I got the other Wet n Wild pressed powder that comes in this container. If I can show you without getting a reflection. Doesn't seem likely. And this one is Golden Tan. If you can see the color difference, you know, when you're tanned in the sun, in the summertime, your skin's a little different tone than in the winter when you're really white. I also found the doo -doo -doo, coverall, wet and wild coverall for underneath your eyes. I had to put some you should have seen the circles under my eyes before I got on camera here. I was like, good God. Um, I got the medium and I got the light for the same reasons that I just stated. Sometimes you need medium, sometimes you need light. But this is all new wet and wild stuff. So I thought I'd give that a try. I also found the <clears throat> Come Correct a celebrity concealer by wet n wild let's see what it looks like and this is medium golden complete coverage concealer for any imperfection masks under eye circles discoloration and blemishes silky smooth blendable and buildable formula brightening effect creates a flawless camera ready complexion let's see can i open this and that's what this looks like 
was in this box that I just tore up. But that's what that looks like. And I did say this was medium, right? Yes. <clears throat> they didn't have that many selections of colors. So I just went with what they had. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And this is Nude Ivory. I think this was the only color of this they had. Or a really dark color. So these were all hanging on hooks in the um, in the makeup section. See how it has a little tab on it? If you can see that. No, that doesn't help. There we go. See a little tab? They are all hanging on those little silver hooks in the makeup department. And then I found the flower. Finally, something flower in my store. Lipstick. Lip gloss. Is it lipstick or lip gloss? Do do do. I think it's lip gloss. I can't read without. Lip radiance. Lip lacquer. It's lip lacquer. It's not lipstick and it's not lip gloss. It's lip lacquer. So anyway, I picked up three of them. I'll keep one and probably give away the other two. I'm not sure I like this color. It's awful peachy to me. I am a more dark lipstick person. Um, but I was like, flower makeup, oh my God. And there were a bunch and I only got three. One for me and I figured two to give away. I wasn't hoarding it. But uh, I was like searching, is there more flower makeup? But that was it. Just the lip lacquer. A uh, couple of toys. Not too many. Not too many. I was like, I do not buy any more toys. Plus, they didn't have anything new, really. They had the um, fortune cookie bracelets again called Lucky Fortune. And apparently, these are the duos. That's why you get two. They're supposed to be, like, they showed on the box hamburger and french fries. I don't know what the, like, two combinations are, but I picked up two sets of these. I picked it up a couple the other day, but I just got these to have for, you know, prizes or gifts or whatever. And then I got a couple of books for Caroline, because we're having a little trouble, um getting along with a little baby sister. So I got Shelly Learns to Share. And it's just a little book on how to share. She has one. I forget what it is. Manners or something. She got her mother got her that. Or somebody got it for her. And this is Katie Learns to Be Kind. And they're cute little, you know, books to teach you how to. They're, you know. Be kind and share. But they're cute. They're just long enough to keep the kid interested. And then I found this Shopkins Surprise Party over 100 sweet scented stickers. And you got your stickers and then like a little story. A little story about a surprise party and the Shopkins and cute little book. So got that. And the last couple things, I got one thing Christmas. I got a basket bag for wrapping purposes. I got this one with the snowman. And then I bought a bunch of this uh, decorative shred. This one has like a, like an iridescent thing to it. You probably can't even see. That one does. This one does as well. I bought two bags of the white iridescent. And I bought two bags of the red with the silver Christmas. And this one I think is, is this one? Oh, this one's iridescent too. So I bought three of the white iridescent and two of the silver with the, um, 
the red with the silver. I bought another package of these bowls. You get uh, 10 bowls. They're 20 ounces. They're a good size bowl. And they're nice to have when you don't want to dirty dishes. And the last thing I got was I finally found the pebbled bowl. This great bowl that is out at the Dollar Tree. This will go with all that um, fancy um, polka dot uh, confetti looking plasticware. And I can use it now if I don't use it. You know, maybe use it for Christmas, fill it up with chips or whatnot. I should have got more than one, but no, nah, I shouldn't have because I have more plastic bowls than I got brains. But I really wanted that because I thought it was really pretty. So, you guys, another hour-long video. Thanks for sticking around. For those of you that stayed till the end, um, I have one more haul before Christmas, and I hope to get that done tomorrow. Um, but I also hope to get a whole lot of other stuff done tomorrow, so... We'll see if it get it, if I get it out before Christmas. I don't remember if there was anything exciting. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go through it and only show you the new stuff. In case you need any last minute gifts, you know. I don't know, you know, how mu how many of you are done with your shopping? How many haven't even started? I hope not. It's the day before Christmas Eve, is it? No, tomorrow's the day before Christmas Eve. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what's out in the Dollar Tree. I hope you guys get to find anything that you're interested in. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And uh, good morning to those of you who didn't stay up late to watch me. And those of you who did, have a good night. Get some rest. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye now.